Tigger is hiding in the cupboard because we have guests over. Tigger came for cuddles. It's 9.07 p.m. right now. Let's make this a really quick one because I want to go to bed really quickly. The book, Digital Minimalism, arrived. I already finished the audiobook, but I liked it enough that I wanted a physical copy of it. I did highlight some of the stuff about solitude, spending time alone, why it's so important, and what we should do. Just to give you a little peek, one of the things Cal Newport suggests is going on long walks regularly without headphones, preferably without your phone as well. He said we really need solitude in order to function properly. He talks about solitude deprivation. Solitude deprivation is a state in which you spend close to zero time alone with your own thoughts and free from input from other minds. We need solitude to thrive as human beings. I was also reading Letting Go by David Hawkins. And I highlighted a lot of stuff. Like there was a lot of interesting things about this experience of oneness that he had once he reached a certain level of consciousness. He also talked about the holographic paradigm, which states that everything in the universe is connected with everything else, including the human mind. He says there was no longer any feeling of a separate self and the pronoun I. Instead, there was the awareness of being all things. The interconnectedness of all things was starkly obvious. Because everything was perfect, there was nothing to wish for, nothing to desire, nothing to create, and nothing to become. It was as though one had always known it, this awareness, as if one were home at last. Man, I've heard this kind of state of consciousness again and again from completely different teachers or religions. There's a kind of universal commonality between this state of consciousness among all these different religions and spiritual teachers. I think Eckhart Tolle also talks about this oneness and being. Beingness. I think Alan Watts gets at it as well, and there are many others, but I can't remember all of them at the top of my head. So I did a lot of reading today, which is good. I did not watch any YouTube, and I got all my priorities done, so that was good. I'm kind of getting a headache, so that's why I want to sleep early. If my hair doesn't look as good as usual, it's because I got a haircut and just washed it and did not style it, so it's just kind of shower hair. Today was a good day. 1% better every day, baby.